Peace and blessings, everybody. This is Oceande, aka Tony Williams, aka Bird, aka North Philly Zone. Peace. What's up with everybody? It's Monday, November 25th. My little brother's 28th birthday. God damn, 20 years old. But uh, I wanted to talk about um, Saturday, uh, Saturday night, fight night with um fight between Deontay Wilder and uh WBC champ and uh heavyweight champ and uh Lu Luis King Kong Ortiz and uh was won by seventh round knockout by Deontay Wilder. Uh Luis Ortiz fought a great fight. He was up on the scorecards and anywhere from five rounds to one the first five rounds and everything of the fight, you know, we may have gotten a six or whatever. Uh, Deontay may have gotten a six or whatever. But Deontay really wasn't active, pretty much playing possum the whole time. This was a great strategy because uh, Luis Ortiz is a is a crafty was is a crafty left handed um, southpaw counter puncher, and um, you know, Deontay was hot in that right hand. He basically didn't show it to him. He was basically with the paw jab and, um, you know, throwing lefts and everything at, uh, every once in a while he might throw the right. He really wasn't connecting. But uh, that seventh round, he found that opening, caught uh, Luis Ortiz with a straight right hand, straight to his forehead, and uh, it was good night, Irene. Lights out. So... Um, you know, Deontay Wilder is maybe the hardest puncher in the history of, of the sport. Maybe the greatest knockout artist in the history of the sport. And, um, he has, he, he is 42, 0 and 1 with 41 knockouts. He has a 97% knockout rate. Insane. And, um, you know, he has a match on February 22nd coming up against Tyson Fury. This will be the rematch of his only draw in the fight that Tyson Fury um, won. I, I think Tyson Fury was up. Uh, may have, uh, like people try to say he only won two rounds. It was 10 to 2 and everything because people don't like to give Deontay credit for anything. But Tyson Fury was up in the fight. But those two knockdowns, that knockdown in the fifth and that knockdown and, the, and and that knockdown in the twelfth was should have been a knockout, and it should have been over. But he had a bullshit bullshit from a referee or whatever. But that's fine, you know. So they're gonna do it again. Tyson Fury really didn't, don't want to fight Deontay Wilder, but and his family damn sure don't want him to fight Deontay Wilder. But you know he's gonna get back in there with him February twenty second. Last time Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury fought two bums after the, well, two, uh, I shouldn't say bums because they, those guys are professional boxers. They didn't show up my ass. So, you know, he fought two guys and that technically weren't supposed to be having to be in the ring with him. And, uh, you know, the, I think the guy McCollum was the one that actually cut him open and was basically giving Tyson Fury a lot of work in that damn fight. He's, you know, uh, you th it looked like he was going to stop Fury, but he did, He simply didn't have the punching power um, to uh, finish Fury off. Um, that, that, I think that fight in the first fight that Deontay fought against Fury and this and his last fight with McCollum and everything, because McCollum attacked his um, Fury's body. Fury's a slick, he a slick heavyweight. You know, he does a lot of movement. He's pretty mobile, especially for a guy that's his size. And uh, he does a lot of head movement and things like that. But if you if you start beating up that body, beating up his, you know, it's going to slow him down. He's going to drop his head. And once he drops his head, Deontay can catch him and put him and, and get him out of here. I think Deontay's going to knock uh, Tyson Fury out within five to seven rounds, pretty much just like this one um, with Ortiz. So... That's all I want to say and everything. Uh, congratulations to the brother, uh, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder, uh, for his 10th straight title defense, the WBC title. And uh, 
Peace and blessings. I'm out.